Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today uh, it is again in the middle of the night. It's currently 3 a.m. and we are going to photograph a crescent moon alignment, a crescent moon rise. I have picked a pretty cool landmark and I'm going to shoot the moon rising just behind this landmark. A couple of weeks ago I have released a video on my channel of how exactly do I plan such photographs but today I'm gonna take you into the field, show you my setup and show you how exactly such a moonrise can go down uh, for, with me uh, hopefully <laughs> capturing it. So let's go to the location and let me show you my setup. See you there. All right, guys, so we are almost at the location. Uh, the moon rise is happening in like 15 minutes, so I kind of need to be quick. So yeah, let me set up and let me walk you through my, my camera setup. I wanted to show you my setup, but actually the moon appeared a little bit faster than I expected. So I'm already shooting. I'm gonna walk you through my setup in just a moment. Uh, so as you can see the landmark that we are photographing against our moon is right there Look how small it is in this 24 millimeters shot and right here on the back of the camera If I rack focus here as you can see This is how it looks. So the landmark is this kind of a monastery and the moon is rising Just behind it as you can see it is going diagonally I am currently shooting on a, with an external intervalometer. This is the intervalometer that I use. This is the Pixel TC252. I was reviewing this a while back on my channel. I highly recommend this remote. And this is just hooked up to my camera and it is on continuous shooting. As you can see, every seven seconds I am taking actually three shots because I am bracketing exposure. So I am shooting uh, you know, plus and minus one exposure value just to be on the safe side. As you can see, it is going down pretty nice. All right, so <laughs> the, the show is over. The moon has already risen. And as you saw just before, I think I got the shot. I will show you the final photo at the very end of the video. So make sure to stick around for that. But let me just take a moment here to explain my setup. So as you can see, everything is on a sturdy tripod. This is a tripod from Benro. I can highly recommend it. I will link down below in the description to it if you want to check that out. Right here I have my good old trusty Canon EOS R, then I have a 2 times RF extender. This extends my focal length by the factor of 2. Then I have a mount adapter and then I have a Canon EF 70 to 300 millimeters f4 to 5.6 LIS USM. <laughs> what a mouthful. This is a lens that I use for like two or three years and I absolutely love this lens. So at the narrow end, this 300 millimeters is transformed by the extender to 600. And as you saw, my composition with a 600 looked pretty awesome. I probably don't need to crop in into the image at all. And then everything is driven by an external intervalometer like I have just shown you. And this intervalometer is taking uh, three photos because I'm bracketing exposure just to be on the safe side. Um, three photos every seven seconds. And then after the show is over, I can pick my favorite exposure or exposures. Maybe I can blend them to reduce noise or something. I will probably make a tutorial in the future about how I process such images in order to pull out incredible details. So make sure to subscribe for that video if you want to check that out. And this is pretty much my setup. And as you can see, the trick with all that is to, sorry, loud truck. The most important thing right here is to show up at the correct place at the correct time. And like I mentioned at the beginning, I have a separate video about how I plan such photographs. And if you do that, if you show up at the correct place at the correct time, the photo can be just amazing. So hopefully see you in my future videos. If you decide to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, give this video a like if you liked it. And yeah, see you next time. And right now, let's check out my final photo. See ya.